if your Python graphics still look like they're from 2005, this video is for you. Last time we built an app that looks like this, and we built it using a regular Tkinter. Now I'm rebuilding it with custom Tkinter and the difference is insane. Of course, the first step is to import our module. So I will import custom Tkinter and give it alias ctk. Important thing to mention is custom Tkinter is not built in in Python. So you have to download it manually if you want to use it. And you will see that the difference is minimal. Let's say I want to create a window. I will call it app and I will call ctk module and from ctk module ctk class is the same as from Tkinter module, but now we have C and that will be the main difference. We will use the same classes and functions. The only difference is we will put this ctk prefix. Function for size is geometry. So geometry and I will pass 300 times 250. Also, let's give it a title. The same function and this one will be custom Tkinter app. Our app will be a simple app where I will have a label and an entry and a button. When I write something in entry, that will be written in my label. So I will write a function called show text and it won't have any parameters, but this function will change my label and my entry. For now, I'll write pass here and I will implement it later. First, let's create a label, label, and from CTK module, I will call CTK label, as you can see. First parameter is where I want to display it. It will be in my window app. The text I want to have at the beginning is, let's say, enter your name. The next parameter, let's say, font. It's a tuple pair where first element is Arial, the font type, and the next one is the font size, let's say 16. Now we should display this label and for that I'll use label.pack and I will also add padding from the Y axis and let's give it 20. No, 20 is a bit much, let's give it 10. Next one is entry and this entry will be created the same way, ctk.ctk entry. And in this ctk, I will have two parameters. One is where I want to display it. And the other one is the default text inside the entry. So that parameter is called placeholder text. As you can see, let's give it text your name. And of course, let's write entry.pack. And let's give it padding, I don't know, 20. I think that is good. On the Y axis, of course, because I want to stack everything one after another to look as same as this one as we can. And now we can create this show text function. This function should change the label text. So for changing the label text, I should write label.configure and say text should be equal to. Let's write an F string. Hello. And then let's get the text from entry. Entry dot get. And after I've changed my label, I want to delete the text inside entry. For that, I will use the delete function. So I'll write entry dot delete. The first parameter is the starting index zero because I want to delete everything from the start to the end. And the last one is the end, which is called like ctk.end. This is a special variable that is built in inside this ctk module. And this means delete everything from the beginning until the end. Now, label and entry are stored inside a variable because I will change them dynamically. But the button that I will create now won't be changed at all we will only use it to change the label and entry. So that's why I won't store it in a variable. And I will simply write ctk.ctk and then call button class. The parameter should be 
first, of course, where I want to put this button, and it should be in my app. Then the text that I want, which is submit, and then the command, or to better say, function that I want this button to execute, which is show text function without these parentheses. And I will put it pack and give it padding to be. Let's give it padding to be 20. And I think maybe here we should put 10 and here 20. And the only thing left is to call app.main loop. Now, when you run this code, my app will be displayed. Let's see how it looks now. As you can see, they're almost the same, but there's a difference. This left one looks like more if you're using a Windows 7, and this right one looks more like you're using a Windows 10 or 11, which is, of course, we know, the newest generation. And if you write here, let's say, David, and click Submit, the entry emptied and the text is displayed. If you write here, David, and write submit. As you can see, here also entry is emptied and the label is changed. In my opinion, this right one looks much better. And in this new custom Tinter, you have a lot more functions and options you can use to make your graphic even better. If this helped, check out my Tinter video next and hit subscribe for more Python builds.